Rhinus, Sid Cole, Maddie Davies, Michaela Boone, Mackenzie Harris, CeCe Hoon, and Kaylee Joe Ince, the starting lineup tonight for Northern Colorado. Northern Colorado wearing their Navy tops and their Navy shorts. San Diego with the white tops and Navy shorts. Torero blue jersey for Annie Benbow, the libero, as San Diego's taking a 2-1 two no, two lead here in set number one. Maddie Allen checks into the game for Brianna Edwards and will serve now for San Diego. Maddie Allen uh, comes in a lot during games to serve. She has done a spectacular job after transferring from BYU, come a little bit closer to home, just from Temecula, California, just north of us here in San Diego. A good dig there by Annie Benbow. Up to Katie Lutz, she gets blocked and a good answer from Northern Colorado as we are tied at two. San Diego's racked up a lot of accolades this year. They have been on a tear. They're currently on a 24 game winning streak, going 72 and 10 in sets during that time span. Their last loss came at number three, Louisville at the time on September 2nd in a tournament in Louisville. Layla Blackwell gives San Diego the lead. They now lead it 3-2. Layla Blackwell, part of the contingent of Toreros that come from San Diego and the San Diego area. And the La Jolla High School, just north of us here at the University of San Diego. Katie Lukes, and that's a big kill for Katie Lukes to give San Diego a 4-2 lead. The West Coast Conference Player of the Year. Talk more about Katie Lukes later on in the broadcast. San Diego leading at 4-2 now. Annie Benbow to serve again. It's a float serve. It's fielded by Mackenzie Harris and then served to the near side for Northern Colorado's Bryn Rhinus. And that doesn't go as it just misses wide of the line and out of play. And San Diego now has a 5-2 lead over Northern Colorado. Annie Benbow to serve for the near side again in her Torero blue jersey. Tough pass there for Northern Colorado. Free ball coming to San Diego. It's a free ball that's passed by Benbow, set by Blossom, throwing with a nice hit on that one. And Northern Colorado is able to send it back over the net. Blossom, near side, Luke, soft touch. And that's played off yet again. Michaela Boone will set it up to her outside hitter, Mackenzie Harris, who knocks it in. Direction or opposite. Mackenzie Harris will get the points now 5-3 in favor of San Diego as more people pour into the Jenny Craig Pavilion. Packed house tonight with the top seeded Toreros, at least in this region. They're the number two seed with Stanford being the one seed in this side of the bracket of the NCAA tournament. Grace Froling now, and that sneaks past. Kaylee Joe Ince for a point. It's now 6-3 San Diego. And Grace Froling will now serve for the Toreros. Six foot five, opposite hitter. Senior out of Los Angeles, California. A float serve there, and it's passed by Joan. Kaylee Joe Ince, if you will. Grace Froling trying to put it back a little bit short and into the net, and it's now 6 4. Northern Colorado, I mentioned. 2022 Big Sky champions. They've won back-to-back -back Big Sky titles. They're on a 14-game winning streak. They've gone 42 and 11 in sets during that time frame. So two winning streaks on display here between Northern Colorado and San Diego. Set to the far side, that's Ints. And that's a little bit too far. And San Diego will get the point. They now lead it seven to four. Olivia Bennett checks back into the game as well as Brianna Edwards. The Toreros leading it 7-4 in set one. Katie Lukes to serve, the West Coast Conference Player of the Year in 2022. Redshirt senior outside hitter. Tenth in program history to be named the West Coast Conference Player of the Year and USD's first Conference Player of the Year since 2017. A big reason why they have become one of the top teams in college volleyball. Tough return there for San Diego. It's now 7-5 in favor of the Toreros. And 
Simple serve there for Hoon. Uh, Haley Stoner put it back, but just a little bit too close to the line, and it's out of play, and Northern Colorado makes it a one-point game. Blossom, soft touch stoner, put back over the net, uh, the net by Ince. Ben Bow, the Edwards with the down ball. And Ince with another soft touch and a good save there by Bennett. Blossom, back line, Katie Lukes, and that's just out. Northern Colorado gets the point where it's tied at seven. Very close to the line there for San Diego and for Northern Colorado. Northern Colorado plays it well. And we're tied. Brown Edwards near side. That's too much to handle for CC Hoon. And Santa gets the lead back now 8-7, snapping the 3-0 run from Northern Colorado. And Haley Stoner will now serve for the first time tonight for the Toreros. Stoner, the sophomore to San Marcos, California, attended, attended Mission Hills High School here in San Diego County. Get up there by Lukes. Edwards near side, touched by Mackenzie Harris. And it's now 9-7 in favor of San Diego. We'll see Stoner again. Good pass there from Harris. Ince with a soft touch, diving for it with Stoner, just out of the reach. And it's now nine to eight in favor of San Diego. Annie Benbow back into the match for the Toreros as the libero in the back line. Sid Cole to serve. Big Sky first team, Big Sky MVP this season. Ince, down ball off the net, tough up there for Blackwell. And it knocks out of play, it's now nine to nine. So Sid Cole will serve again. Five foot ten junior out of Parker, Colorado. Big Sky first team, as I mentioned. The MVP of this year's Big Sky Conference. 260 digs. 1,287 assists. And even 27 aces on the year. That's blocked at the line. Cole is there. Set by Boone. The far side to, to Ince. It's blocked. It's played back again by Northern Colorado. Ince, soft touch. Diving forward is Ben Bow. Bennett saves it. And now Edwards puts it over on the tip. Set to the near side now. It's Cole. And that's dug out by Bennett. Backline Lukes just out of play. 10 9 lead for Northern Colorado. San Diego's just missed a couple of times. A little bit too deep over the baseline, a little bit too far on the sideline. Luke's in the back, Blossom sets near side, it's Edwards. She's blocked and then it's tipped around the net. Still back up for San Diego. Edwards puts it into the net and Northern Colorado has increased their lead to 11-9. Now in a 3-0 scoring run. A full house here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. And as they come to cheer on their number two ranked San Diego Toreros, number three ranked San Diego Toreros, depending on what pool you look at. That's a good block there by Layla Blackwell. Now 11 at 10. San Diego has done exceptionally well at home this season, 14 and 0. Yeah, this has historically always done well at the Teddy Craig Pavilion. As San Diego gets another point, evens it up at 11 each. Blackwell with a quick throw over the net. Cole near side, just past the diving loops. 12-11, Northern Colorado. Good point there for the Bears. Good 
hit there by Froling. Even better save by Boone. Back over the net by Northern Colorado. Just past the diving Benbo. And Northern Colorado has a two-point lead here in set one. They lead it 13 to 11. Northern Colorado got their season started 3-0 in the month of August. As Kaylee Jones puts it into the net. It was a good start to the season, which turned into a poor month of September. They go 4-7 and seven in September with three losses in a row to Wichita State, Omaha, and West Virginia. They got a win against Cal State Bakersfield and lost again to South Dakota. And then went back and forth with wins and losses to finish September four and seven, but really turned it on in October and November, as they now lead it 14 to 12 here. Going seven and one in October and eight and zero in the month of November. And they've been cruising to victories ever since, again on a 14 game winning streak. Blossom near side, Lukes, that gets blocked. It's saved again by Cole. Now back to the far side and a nice hit there by Mackenzie Harris. 15 to 12, and we got ourselves a media timeout. Northern Colorado comes out, comes out swinging here in set one. Set coming back next on ESPN Plus. Fifteen twelve lead for Northern Colorado as they come out swinging here in the NCAA tournament against the top seeded San Diego Toreros. And Luke answers the call out of the timeout, makes it 15 13 in favor of Northern Colorado. For the Colorado coached by their head coach Lindsay Oates, she is in her 18th season at the helm at Northern Colorado. A record of 329 and 213, a 607 winning percentage as the head coach of the Bears. Four time Big Sky Coach of the Year. Coach Northern Colorado to seven NCAA tournament appearances and has led 49 players to all conference honors, including 21 first team selections. As we will see, Lindsay Oates make a challenge here. Challenge is whether or not the ball is in or out, so we'll take a look at it here. Talk a little bit more about Lindsay Oates. Was hired on August 8, 2005. She is born and raised in Eaton, Colorado. Went to Eaton High School, then went and attended Louisiana State University for her bachelor's before getting her master's degree at Northern Colorado. So Northern Colorado assistant coach from 03 to 04 took over the program in 2005 and has put together some great years for the Bears and in their transition 
to the Big Sky Conference in Division I. They have made seven NCAA tournaments under Coach Oates. She headed UNC's first team to make an NCAA tournament in 2009, led the team to a D1 record 26 wins in 2019. Second longest tenure coach, second longest tenure coach at Northern Colorado behind only head women's scorer, Coach Tim Herrera. Played at LSU, three-time SEC academic honor roll. And after that, challenge by Coach Oates, call is confirmed. So it will be a 15-14 lead for Northern Colorado. San Diego will keep the point. Good serve there by Benbo, who then has to make a pass on the return. Grace Froling, good knock. Ball gets knocked around. Boone sends the free ball over to the Toreros. Blossom, Froling again. Too much for Boone. And we're tied at 15. Killed by Grace Froling, the senior, as I mentioned. Grace Froling does have another year of eligibility, although it does sound like she's probably leaning towards going to play in Europe. Something that head coach Jennifer Petrie talked about earlier this week on the radio as Northern Colorado fields it or plays it and gets a point 16-15. In an interview with John Katera on the John Katera Show, Jennifer Petrie mentioned how Grace Froling has an opportunity to play in Europe instead of coming back for an extra year and gave the advocacy, if you will, for not only Grace Froling to go play internationally, but any volleyball player at the collegiate level if given the opportunity to do so. So we'll see where Grace Froling ends up as we are all tied at 16 here. And she is now serving for San Diego. Comes into the night, 292 kills on the season. Net violation against San Diego and Northern Colorado takes a 17-16 lead. After hitting that ball out of play, with the break from the net. And Mackenzie Harris will serve the senior from Eaton High School. Slow touch there, Ben Bow. Good pass. Luke puts it back over. Cole sets it to Ince. Luke's plays it over to Blossom, the Stoder, and a point for San Diego. We're tied at 17. In comes Bennett, in comes Edwards, and in comes Kylie Priest to serve for Katie Luke's. Kylie Priest has done an exceptional job doing that late in the set. She has 20 aces on the season, the junior outside hitter from San Juan Capistrano. A float serve and just a little bit too far. And it's 18-17 in favor of the Bears. As we'll see CC Hoon serve for the Bears. Six foot two senior out of Cascade, Wisconsin. As the simple serve is over the net. Stoner and a great shot by Haley Stoner. Going across her body on to her right, hits it back to the left and to the right of a diving bear. Tied at 18. From one service specialist to another, Alex Hoagland comes into the game for the first time. Five foot six junior out of Berkeley, California. She has 11 aces on the season and is also inserted into games late in the games to serve. Ince with a nice shot off of Blackwell and Blossom. 1918 Northern Colorado. Substitution now. Haley Stoner in and Annie Benbo in for Stoner as the libero. 1918 lead for Northern Colorado here in set number one. Too much for Olivia Bennett. That's going to be a service ace for Cole. That's Cole's 28th ace of the season. And the Big Sky MVP gives her team a 2018 lead right here on ESPN+. Plus.
no longer in town. Buy and sell a contract. The NCAA ticket exchange. Join the comfort of more tickets are offered and 100% guaranteed. For more information, visit NCAA.com slash exchange. Twenty to eighteen lead for Northern Colorado here in set one. As Sid Cole will serve after getting an ace, Danny Benbo with a pass, and Brianna Edwards put it home for San Diego. It's now twenty to nineteen. Grace rolling back in for the Toreros. Out of the timeout from head coach Jennifer Petri, who is that a standard of excellence for San Diego Volleyball in her time. We'll talk more about her later. But a good job there by Bryn Rinus. That's Rinus' third kill of the night already. And it's now 21-19, two-point lead for the Bears. Insta serve, Benbo with the pass, Blossom near side, Froling, and that's in for a point. Good sequence there for San Diego. It's now 21-20. And Matty Allen is in for San Diego, who's done an exceptional job, as I mentioned, serving for the Toreros. Ranks third on the USD roster with 28 service aces. So far in 2022. That's gonna be a violation against USD and Northern Colorado is going to get the points. Crowd can't believe it. Coach Petri wants an explanation. And there's going to be a discussion here. Kevin Cole, our referee number one today, Nikki Kethel, Kaylee Kimura, Robert Reyes, and Heather Pickett are, 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 are our officials today. as they discuss the last play. And it's gonna be reversed. So now Lindsay Oates wants an explanation. First, the call is now 21 all as Maddie Allen will serve. A native of nearby Temecula, attended Great Oak High School. Has 166 digs this year, fourth amongst her teammates, as well as 23 assists and three kills. And she will have to think about it as we go to a break. All tied up at 21 here in set one. The NCAA tournament on ESPN.
Northern Colorado's come out swinging here in set one of the opening round of the NCAA tournament at the host site at the University of San Diego, all tied up at 21 here in set number one. A little bit of a change of a call in the last play. And after that, it made it 21 all, and then head coach Lindsey Oates called a timeout for Northern Colorado. So Manny Allen's had some time to think about this next serve. There is some timeouts usually during kind of a comparison to icing the kicker in football. It happens a lot in volleyball, but she gets it over the net. Tough handle there. It's going to be an ace for Maddie Allen. Maddie Allen, third on the team in service aces coming into the night with 28. Gets her 29th. And she has done an exceptional job for San Diego since transferring from BYU. One point lead now for the Toreros. Maddie Allen again, just barely over the net. Tough response from Northern Colorado, but they get it back. Blossom in the middle, it's Blackwell, she gets stuffed. Benbo saves it, Froling, and that gets dug out by Sid Cole. There's Boone near side, that's blocked. Rhinus again, Benbo is there. Blossom sets Blackwell, and that sneaks past the diving Michaela Boone. San Diego takes a 23-21 lead. The crowd is on their feet. Lindsey Oates calls a timeout. Set one here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. 23-21, Toreros. Colorado has used both their timeouts as San Diego has a 23-21 lead here in set number one. Allen to serve again as San Diego's on a 4-0 scoring run. Harris back over the net. Allen with a good pass in the back set to the middle to Blackwell. Tough up there by Boone. Northern Colorado trying to save it. Harris a little bit too short in front of the net and it's set point. As San Diego on a 5-0 scoring run, trying to make it a 6-0 scoring run to win set one. The entire arena is on their feet, cheering on the Toreros. Here's Matty Allen. Just over the net, Boone there with a diving stop. And into the net is Rhinus, and San Diego takes set one, 25-21. Good start for the Toreros as they answer back. Northern Colorado comes out swinging in the first set, but the Toreros get set 125-21. We'll be back with set two next on ESPN+. Plus.
kindly request that any current or former members of our armed forces please stand to be recognized. Fans, let's hear it for these men and women who have given so much to serve our country. San Diego wins set one, 25-21. Battled back in that set after Northern Colorado gave them a lot in the first set. 10 ties, two lead changes in set one. Thanks again for tuning in to ESPN Plus. I'm Braden Zepredit bringing you the action tonight in the NCAA tournament. Women's College Volleyball, this is game two here in San Diego. Game one was won by Washington State over UNLV. They won three sets to none and they await the winner of tonight's match. And the two winners will be going against each other tomorrow night at 7.30 Pacific time right here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. Northern Colorado will serve to get things started here in set two. And a service ace for Sid Cole to get things started. One nothing Northern Colorado. Stats in the first set, Northern Colorado 13 kills on 34 attempts. They had six errors, a 2.06 percentage 13 for 25 on the side out San Diego 16 kills six errors on 42 attempts 23.8 hitting percentage and San Diego ties it at one talked about the program that is San Diego when it comes to volleyball one of the best programs on the West Coast and one of the best programs in the West Coast Conference you're in and you're out at one of their best seasons this season in school history as they were able to go undefeated in West Coast Conference play after beating BYU in the final game. Nice tip there by Katie Lutz. Coming back for San Diego, Benbow now. Grace Froling near side. And a good up there by Colorado, Northern Colorado. That gets tipped, Benbow with a good backup. Layla Blackwell, that's a kill, 2-1 San Diego. San Diego has put together, like I mentioned, an unbelievable program, and it's led by their head coach, Jennifer Petri. Coach Petri is local from San Diego, went to Mount Carmel High School, went on to play collegiately at William & Mary before coming back to San Diego. Was hired at a very young age and has now entered into her 24th year as the head coach of San Diego, in which she has led the Toreros to 21 NCAA tournament appearances in her tw in 23 years of coaching. San Diego will get another point now leading in three to one. Career record 447, 163. That's a 732 winning percentage. Ranks 10th all time among all active Division I coaches with 400 or more wins. Toreros are also riding a streak of 12 straight NCAA tournament appearances at her helm. 
Northern Colorado unable to keep the ball within the length inside the lines of the court. So that will be another point for San Diego. And Coach Petri won another West Coast Conference Coach of the Year award, her seventh total. And Colorado brings it back, and that's out. San Diego's on a nice little scoring run. 5-1 now. But she was on local radio this week when asked about the West Coast Conference Coach of the Year accolades, they asked her, I think this is number seven. She had no idea in a humble way because she pays attention to making sure her team is the best it can be and gives a lot of credit to the coaching staff that she has. And we'll talk about that coaching staff when we come back as San Diego has jumped out to a 6-1 lead here in set number two. Timeout, Northern Colorado on ESPN. After taking set 125-21, USD has a 6-1 lead over Northern Colorado here in set two. Gabby Blossom adding to the 6-0 scoring run here with another serve as Northern Colorado had to call a timeout and a big block there by Grace Brolig. It's now 7-1 San Diego. Going to break, we talked about all the accolades that Coach Petri has won as head coach at the USD talks about giving all her credit to her assistant coaches that she has had many over the years, many that have gone on to become head coaches themselves. And she has a great staff here at USD, led by their associate head coach, Alfie Ref, who actually spent some time as the acting head coach for a little bit this season, did an excellent job at that. Jimmy Lundgren, an assistant coach in his fifth season. Eddie Olicsek, the graduate assistant in her second season, and Brent Alderman, the volunteer assistant in his first season. Round out the staff for Coach Petri. And what is a great program here at the University of San Diego. 8-2 lead now for the Toreros. And when you got a great program like this, and you have a campus so close to the Pacific Ocean and Mission Beach over here at Fiesta Island. And they play a lot of beach volleyball. It's not a hard sell to get high school players and potential transfers to come to San Diego and play volleyball at a very high level. 9-2 lead now for San Diego over Northern Colorado. A lot of great selling points. Obviously, the program, the city, America's finest city here in San Diego to play volleyball year in and year, year round. And a great atmosphere here in the Jenny Craig Pavilion for the volleyball team as well. Packed house tonight for the NCAA tournament. San Diego has showed out for the number three team in the country in the San Diego Toreros. They had a two seed in the tournament. They've been ranked in the top four every week, it seemed like, throughout the season. As San Diego adds to their lead, they're now up 10 to three. I mean, high accolades all season long for a historical season for San Diego. 
come in ranked again. They started the season ranked 25 in the country. After a couple of weeks, they notched it up to eight. As that goes out of play, and Northern Colorado scores is now 10-4. And then by week four of the season, September 19th, San Diego's in the top four, and we're four all the way through week eight, where they became three in the country on October 24th. And took over as the number two team in the country from October 31st to November 21st as Northern Colorado goes on a little bit of a run here and it's now 10 to five. And then the last week of the season, they dropped down to number three, even though they hadn't lost since September 2nd. And then getting the NCAA tournament, they got a little dinged with the conference that they were in the West Coast Conference. It's now 11 to five for San Diego which is very top heavy. I mean, Pepperdine made the NCAA tournament as well as LMU and BYU. But after that, it kind of falls off. And the committee thought that you know, teams like Stanford out of a Pac-12 conference and Texas and some of the other programs in some bigger conferences should have the number one seed. But San Diego doing a great job here. As it's now 11-6. Of course, the top national seeds, Texas, Wisconsin, Nebraska, or not Nebraska, uh, Louisville, who San Diego lost to, and Stanford. It's now 12-6. Olivia Bennett comes into the game as well as Brianna Edwards. As Katie Lukes will serve again for San Diego. Both serve, fielded by Boone in the back, or a good pass there. And a free ball coming to San Diego. Bennett, Blossom, Edwards. That's a point for San Diego, 13-6. We go back to the West Coast Conference Player of the Year and Katie Lukes at the service line. Boone with the pass, Cole sets it to Ince and drops it in front of Katie Lukeson. It's now 13 to seven. This is CeCe Hoon now and sails it over the back line for a service error. Now 14-7 lead for San Diego's Haley Stoner comes in to serve. Haley Stoner, a West Coast Conference honorable mention this season. Sophomore middle blocker. Dynamic defensive campaign behind Blackwell, one that saw her record 84 total blocks for an average of 1.04 blocks per set. For Stoner, as Northern Colorado has now taken another point there, now 14 to eight. San Diego still a nice little lead here. Northern Colorado still fighting through. Blackwell gets blocked, plays off the own block. Edwards now, and that just gets in front of the bat baseline. It's now 15 to eight. We're out of Edwards, has five kills on the night. And we'll see Gabby Blossom. Gabby Blossom with the float serve, drops it in, service ace for San Diego. That's Blossom's 30th ace of the season. It was named the West Coast Conference Setter of the Year this season. Grad transfer from Penn State, joined USD in the spring. It's been a huge reason for the su huge success of this historic season for San Diego. As that one trickles out, it's gonna be a timeout for Northern Colorado. San Diego on a run here. They lead it 17 to eight in set two after taking set one. You're watching women's NCAA tournament on ESPN Plus.
Then they go on a 3-0 scoring run, causing Northern Colorado to call a timeout as they lead set two, 17-8 after taking set one. 25-21, Layla Blackwell. Nice kill there, 18-8 in favor of San Diego. Gabby Blossom still serving for the Toreros. I mentioned the grad transfer for Penn State was named to the All-West Coast Conference first team, was a West Coast Conference setter of the year. Led both USD and the West Coast Conference with an average of 11.2 assists per set in 2022. Which ranked 10th nationally. As San Diego adds to their lead. 5-0 scoring run. Gabby Blossom still serving. St. Louis, Missouri native finished the regular season with 29 service aces. Blossom already has one tonight. That gets knocked around and will drop in for a point for Northern Colorado off the tip from San Diego. Substitution now. Harris into the game for Northern Colorado. And Kaylee Jo Inns will serve now for the Bears. Ten point deficit for the Bears. Edwards sets the blossom and over to Blackwell for another kill. That's Blackwell's ninth kill of the night. Errors on 12, 13 attempts now. 692 hitting percentage for Blackwell this evening. And a commanding 20 to 9 lead for the Toreros. Maddie Allen to serve now. To the far side of the court. Here. Harris is there. Harris now gets blocks. But Cole backs it up. Now Rhinus. It's passed by Benbo. Lukes gets blocked. Benbo's there to recover. Blossom in the middle to Blackwell. That's another kill for Layla. The La Jolla native has 10 on the night. It's now 21 to 9. 6 1 scoring run for San Diego. Trying to take set two after taking set one. Maddie Allen passed by Harris. Up to Cole in the back line, Ince gets it passed, and that's a kill for Northern Colorado. It's now 21 to 10. Allen for the back row. Katie Lukes with a nice hit there. And an even better block by Layla Blackwell. And Grace Froling. Take a look at the replay here. Oh, tough to tell on that one. And it's going to be a block assist by both. An attack error for Mackenzie Harris. And San Diego's got a 22-10 lead with the libero of the year. And Ibenbo serving. Back line ints. And that's in for a kill. 22-11. Rhinus with the serve. Pass by Lukes. Blossom near side frolling. 23-11 San Diego. And we've seen this a lot out of USD where come out of the gate in a battle with an opponent and then really turn it on in set two and then get into cruise control mode. Frolling just wide and that'll be a service error for San Diego. We talked about the winning streak, 24 game winning streak, 72 and 10 in sets during that span. Absolutely ridiculous. Harris now at the serve, Lukes, Blossom, back row, Froling, Boone is there, Stoner volleys it back, and Northern Colorado get the points, now a 10 point game. as Mackenzie Harris, the senior from Eaton, Colorado, will serve again. Big Sky first team, back-to-back -back Big Sky tournament MVPs for Harris. San Diego now has set point. Edwards back in, Bennett back in, Kylie Priest will do the honors. 
to serve for Katie Lukes to try to give San Diego a two set lead here after Haley Stoner got the kill to make it set point. Kylie Priest from the far side of the court leading 24-13 here in set two. Everybody on, on their feet here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. As it goes silent for Kylie Priest. A little bit of a discussion here now with the officials so Northern Colorado will now huddle up. A little bit of ice time here for Kylie. And after that, it's the junior's turn. Kylie Priest, float serves it, Boone in the back with the pass. Up to Cole and to Ince in front of Priest, and Northern Colorado stays alive. 24-14, Katie Lukes comes back into the match for San Diego for Kylie Priest, and CeCe Hoon will have to go on a Huge run here for Northern Colorado to survive in the second set. Bennett with the pass in the back. Blossom sets Luke's back row. And the crushing shot gives San Diego a two set lead. They win set two, 25-14. San Diego trying to make it a clean sweep in set three when we come back on ESPN Plus.
San Diego one set away from punching their ticket to the next round. As they lead it two sets to none after taking set number two. 25-14, they won set one, 25-21. Thanks again for tuning in tonight. ESPN Plus says San Diego and Northern Colorado battle it out here in the 2022 Division I Women's Volleyball Championships. First round of the NCAA Tournament. I'm Braden Supreni. Thanks again for tuning in to tonight's match. Stats in the second set. 12 kills for San Diego. One error, 24 total times on the attack. 45.8 hit percentage for the Toreros. As for Northern Colorado, 10 kills, 9 errors, 27 times on the attack. And a 3.7 hit percentage for Northern Colorado. Good rally here to start things out. Grace Froling ends the rally with a kill. 1-0 San Diego. Ten tied scores, two lead changes in set one, only one tie and one lead change in set two, and that's because Northern Colorado started off set number two with a 1-0 lead. San Diego tied it, went on a run, and then never looked back in the second set. Out of play now, and Northern Colorado will get the point, now tied at one each. As I mentioned, Washington State awaits the winner of tonight's game. It will be on tomorrow right here on ESPN Plus, 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. And a service error from Kaylee Jo Hintz. As we wheel it down. In the second round, trying to knock it down to the Sweet 16. Maddie Allen with the serve and a service ace. As San Diego gets the point, three to one. That's Allen's second ace of the night. Well, just missed her third by inches on the back line. So a service error instead of a service ace. Now three to two in favor of San Diego. Other scores out there for you. On this side of the bracket, Washington State won as I mentioned, as Katie Lukes puts it home. San Diego now leads it four to two. Haley Stoner back into the game. Any Benbow to serve. West Kentucky beat Bowling Green three sets to none. Kentucky beat Loyola Chicago three sets to none. They both advance to the next round. Creighton will play Auburn tomorrow, as well as South Dakota playing Houston, Hawaii against LSU, and Pepperdine playing Stanford. On this side of the bracket, Northern, Cal Northern Colorado gets the points, now four to three. The Texas side of the bracket, they beat Farley Dickinson three sets to none. Georgia beat Towson three to one. Georgia Tech over Wright State, 3-0, and Marquette swept Ball State 3-0 as well. So tomorrow, Texas will play Georgia. Georgia Tech will play Marquette. And then on the other side of the bracket, Nebraska beat Delaware State three sets to none. Kansas over Miami, three to none. So they'll play each other tomorrow at 5 o'clock Pacific time. Baylor over Stephen F. Austin and Rice over Colorado. Baylor and Rice will take each other on at 5 o'clock tomorrow as well. 5-4 lead here for San Diego, Northern Colorado on a little bit of a run. As Mackenzie Harris will serve now for the Bears. Short, diving Benbow with a pass. Luke's near side, Boone digs it out. Cole, far side, Ince. Pancake up by Froling, gets it back over the net. Cole sets it back to the libero, who gets it to Ince. A great up by Benbo. Battle at the net. Played by Allen in the back. Luke's with a nice shot. Harris digs it out. Inside the middle, soft touch by Hoon. And now Froling gets it over the net. Rhinus with a good dig to get it over to Ince. And Ince over the net, tied at five. Great rally by both Northern Colorado and San Diego. And 
Mackenzie Harris will now serve again for the Bears. And it's going to be a point for Northern Colorado. With that, San Diego's going to go to the bench. Brianna Edwards back in. Olivia Bennett. They're in for Maddie Allen and Grace Froling. Get more of a defensive look for the Toreros as Harris will serve again on a 3-0 scoring run for Colorado. Diving Bennett over to Blossom. Luke's near side. Knocks it over to Boone. Boone plays it off. Rhinus back line Harris. That's dug out by Bennett. Blossom, back line Edwards. Boone again. Cole, far side Ince. Benbow digs it out. Blossom, near side. Lukes, that gets blocked. Bennett's on it. Blossom now to the near side. Lukes again, soft touch this time. Diving forward is Rhinus. Cole, back line Harris, too far. Game's tied at six. Two set lead for San Diego. Set three's tied at six. Katie Lukes will serve for the Toreros. Lukes. Boone, tough pass, knocked back, free ball to San Diego. Edwards, Blossom, back to Edwards. That's a point for San Diego. And a recipe for success. Lindsay Oates is going to challenge whether or not it was over the end line or not. And that's what we're going to take a look at real quick. Seven six lead for San Diego. The call on the floor was in. As it got a piece of the end line. Northern Colorado disagrees, challenges. Talk a little bit about San Diego and all the accolades they've been able to put together so far this season. I mean, a great historical season that continues here tonight in the NCAA tournament. Entered tonight's match on a 24-game win streak, longest in program history, longest active streak in the NCAA Division I. Their win over St. Mary's on November 10th pushed the Toreros to 20 wins in a row, surpassing the previous mark. of 19. 1997's team went 26 and 4, 13 and 1 in West Coast Conference play and reached the second round of the NCAA tournament under former head coach Sue Snyder. 24, 2004 squad went 24 and 5 and 14 in all West Coast Conference play and reached the NCAA tournament regional semifinal and head coach Jennifer Petrie's sixth season at the helm. So it's a pretty good company in San Diego seasons as the call is confirmed on the court. So it is a 7-6 lead for San Diego over Northern Colorado, which leads to a service error for Katie Lukes. And it will be a dueling sevens here between Northern Colorado and San Diego. Poon with the serve. Played back by Stoner on the soft touch. Sneaks it in front of a diving Rhinus. And it's now 8-7 San Diego. Northern Colorado will send Boone back in. And a service error for the Toreros. Eight eight all here in set three, Northern Colorado. Trying to get back in it. Something they are not unfamiliar with. They've done it a couple of times. Ince off the block and in for a point. 9-8 Northern Colorado. In Colorado has been able to battle back all season from 0-2 comebacks. That was a great shot by Ince. Bennett with a great save over to Blossom. And then Katie Luce put it, put it back over the net. Immediately said my bad to the team. Tough play there. Took her eye off it. It's now 
Benbow, Blossom, Blackwell, 10-9. As I mentioned, Northern Colorado is not unfamiliar with 0-2 comebacks after going winless in five matches where they dropped the first two sets. North, Northern Colorado posted a pair of wins in a seven-day stretch where they played them, placed themselves in an 0-2 situation and won. It's now 11-9 in favor of Northern Colorado. Bears rallied to defeat Eastern Washington on November 18th to secure the number one seed of the Big Sky Tournament and replicated the feat in the semifinals of the conference tournament against number four seed at Sacramento State. So they've been down 0-2 before. As it's now 11-10. But not necessarily something you want to be in a situation for going against one of the top teams in the country. They're going to have to win three straight to advance to play Washington State. And a one-point lead here in set three. Ball gets knocked around. Benbo, the great save, free ball to Northern Colorado. Ince, Cole, Harris, dug out. Near side, Luke, soft touch. Harris is there. Cole, back to Harris, point Northern Colorado. 12-10 lead for the Bears here in set three. Float serve. Play by Allen, but leaks too far over the net. And Harris makes her pay. 13-10 now in favor of Northern Colorado. Boone, Benbo, Blossom. Rolling gets blocked by Harris. And a nice run by Northern Colorado. They now lead it 14-10. Fourteen ten, Northern Colorado on a 3-0 scoring run. Here's Boone again. Allen, Blossom, far side, Froling. San Diego snaps a 3-0 run. It's 14-11. Haley Stoner back in for Layla Blackwell. Annie Benbow to serve. West Coast Conference libero of the year. Award winner, Annie Benbow. Both serve, out of play. Be a point for San Diego. And a service ace. And he Benbo, the numerous accolades this season. She is the all-time digs leader now in program history at USD, and she puts it over the back line. And it's gonna be a timeout. Media timeout, 15-12 lead for Northern Colorado in set three. Trying to stay alive in the NCAA tournament on ESPN.
wave has broken out here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. Northern Colorado leading at 15-12 here in the third set. San Diego has a two-set lead as they took the first two sets of play. Ben Bow, Blossom, backside Froling. That's dug out by Boone. Up to Harris, diving Blossom in the back. Ben Bow now to Lukes. That gets tipped, played by Ince. Cole, far side Harris, blocks. Stoner plays it off the block. Allen from the back line, over to Lukes. And that's dug out by Boone yet again. Far side Harris, soft touch this time. Blossom with it diving up. Back to Luke, soft touch, just past Boone for a point. And a kill for San Diego. 15-13 lead for Northern Colorado. A great answer for San Diego on that sequence. What a great rally by both teams. Fifteen thirteen lead for the Bears here in set three. Grace Froling serves it into the net service error. It'll be sixteen thirteen now. Harris, Benbo. Blossom, near side, Lukes. That's knocked up by Northern Colorado. Ince with the finger touch. Back over the net. Blossom with the set with the bump. And that gets played by Harris. Cole with a fast move on that one. Said Cole. Heads up play by the junior. It's now 17-13. Here comes Bennett. Here comes Edwards. Olivia Bennett, the freshman out of Lexington, Kentucky. Brianna Edwards, the grad transfer from Indiana out of Rainier, Oregon. Lukes, right up by Boone. Cole, far side, ends. Benbo, tough up, just out of the reach. And it'll be the point for Colorado. They now have an 18-13 lead, and San Diego's gonna have to call a timeout. Northern Colorado on a 3-0 scoring run. Team 13 here in set three, Northern Colorado. Uh, stay alive in the NCAA tournament after dropping the first two sets by a score of 25-21 and 25-14. Off to a great start here in set three. Haley Stoner out of the timeout. Makes it a four-point set, 18-14. That's Stoner's fifth kill of the night. Kylie Priest comes in to serve for Katie Lukes. 18-14 lead for Northern Colorado. Priest, the float serve, tough pass. And that's gonna be an ace for San Diego. 18-15. Northern Colorado gonna go to the bench. Bronwyn Timperley will come in for the Bears. A little bit more help defensively. The defensive specialist, 5'11 junior in Northfield, Minnesota. 
Here comes Kylie Priest, down three points. Boone with the up, Cole with the set. Ince with the hit, Priest with the pass out of play. And it's now 19-15. CC Hoon. Tough pass again for San Diego. And it's a free ball to Northern Colorado. Cole, backline Harris. She gets blocked by Stoner. Haley Stoner with the block. Her first block of the night. 95th on the season. Couldn't come at a bigger time for San Diego. 1916. Alex Hoagland in to serve. So 11 aces on the year. A late entry and service all the time for San Diego. Down three. Oakland with the float. Tough one. Edwards takes advantage of it. On the pass from Northern Colorado that went just a little bit too far. It's a two-point set. 19-17. Here's Oakland again. Another float. Ints to Cole, back to Ints. It's blocked, but out of play. Blackwell did a good job getting a piece of it, but it goes out of bounds. And Northern Colorado will get the point. Three-point lead for the Bears, 20 to 17. As Sid Cole will serve now. The Big Sky MVP has an opportunity to make it closer to winning set three. Benbo, Blossom, near side, Edwards. And a crushing strike from Edwards, 20 to 18. That's Edwards' eighth kill of the night, third best on the team for the Toreros this evening. Followed by Grace Froling, who has nine, and Layla Blackwell, who's got 12. Gabby Blossom will now serve for San Diego, down two points. Played by Boone, Cole. Rhinus gets blocked, in for a point. It's now a one-point game. 20 to 19 in favor of Northern Colorado. A great block for San Diego. Gabby Blossom again. Layla Blackwell, Grace Froling, both get block assist on that. Pass by Harris. Cole, near side, ints. And that's a good point and a good answer for Northern Colorado. 21-19. Haley Joe Ince to serve. First team all big sky. Benbow in the back. Blossom in the middle to Layla Blackwell. 21-20. Maddie Allen comes back in to serve. One point set. San Diego coming all the way back. Load serve, Harris with the pass, Cole, backline ints, Benbo with another dig, Blossom, far side, Froling. That's dug out by Cole. Boone will have to set now over to Rhinus, and that's in for a point off the tip of San Diego. 22-20. Hoon comes back in for Northern Colorado, and Boone will serve for the Bears. Michaela Boone, senior out of Cortland, Nebraska. Benbo, tough pass. Blossom gets it back up on a set, and Lukes puts it back over the net. Far side, Harris. Good up by Blossom, close to the net, and knocked over by Froling, but played by Northern Colorado. Benbo, Blossom, Blackwell, Boone, all over it. Cole, near side, Rhinus, in. 23 20. Northern Colorado's got life, and San Diego's gonna call a timeout. Northern Colorado two points away from forcing set four here on ESPN.
23-20 lead for Northern Colorado here in set three, coming out of the timeout from USD. San Diego has a two-set lead. Northern Colorado's trying to force a set four. Blossom, near side, loops. That's a kill. That's a point, two-point game, 23-21. Luke's sixth, sixth kill of the night. Passes the baton to Annie Benbo. Off the ref from the bench calling out that Benbo needs to serve it. Boom. Cole. Harris off the block, drops in front of Blossom and in. It's set point for Northern Colorado. Bears fans are on their feet. This is San Diego's going to have to go on a run here. Rhinus with the serve, and it's a service ace to win set three. So Northern Colorado forces a set four by winning set three, 24-21. We'll be back with set four in just a little bit on ESPN. Set four, Northern Colorado took set three, 25-21. Keep their NCAA tournament hopes alive. Got to flip the script here for Northern Colorado and win set four. Give yourself a set five match where it's anybody's game.
San Diego trying to finish them off and get ready for Washington State tomorrow at this point. And off to a good start. They lead it 2 nothing here. In set four, some set three stats for you. 13 kills for San Diego, three errors, 36 total times on the attack. 27.8% hit percentage, 14 for 24 on side out. As for Northern Colorado, 16 kills, three errors, 40 times on the attack, and a lot better of a hit percentage at 32.5, which is the best hit percentage they have had all night in sets. At a 3.7 hit percentage in set two, and only a 20.6 hit percentage in set one, but really did an exceptional job in set three. Five ties, three lead changes in the last set. San Diego on a 3-0 run to start set four. Blossom sets Blackwell, making a 4-0 run. So Northern Colorado, who oh, came out swinging in the first set, in which San Diego came back and won. So will land a haymaker in set three, and is currently taking some shots in set four as San Diego comes back swinging and has taken a 5 nothing lead here in set four. And a good run here by Gabby Blossom. Boone in the back, Cole now near side, Rhinus. And that is out, point San Diego. Six nothing lead for the Toreros. Blossom again, Rhinus, Cole, backside, Ince, puts it into the net. It's a 7-0 run to start set four. You couldn't ask for anything better if you're San Diego, and Northern Colorado calls the timeout. San Diego leads it two sets to one on ESPN. San Diego off to a great start here in set number four. They lead it 7-0 over Northern Colorado. I'm Brayton Soprano. Thanks again for tuning in to ESPN Plus. Coverage of the NCAA Tournament in Women's College Volleyball. Ince over the net. Edwards is there. Back to Blossom. Back line. Katie Lukes. 8-0 run in set four. San Diego took the first two sets. 25-21 and 25-14. Northern Colorado answered by winning set three, 25-21. And now San Diego's on an 8-0 run to start set four. Backline Harris, Benbow, Blossom, Edwards. That gets blocked. Froling saves it. Blossom back to Edwards. That's it. 9-0 run. Northern Colorado's already used one of their timeouts. Can't seem to break this streak right now for San Diego. Gabby Blossom continuing to do her thing from the service line. Ince, near the net. Cole pops it up, gets blocked again. Cole saves it, near side Ince, that gets blocked. Harris, 
Ince one more time. Tip, Bembo, great save. Edwards up, Blackwell had to get over the net. Tough battle there for San Diego. And Northern Colorado gets the break they needed to end that streak. It's now 9-1. Down in the hole, eight by eight points here in set four to get it started. And Kaylee Joe Ince will serve for Northern Colorado. Blackwell with the soft touch. And just enough a tip on the ball to put it over the net and give San Diego a point. Now 10-1. Patty Allen back into the game for the Toreros. As she checks in for Brianna Edwards. Allen will serve now. At the top of the key on the basketball lines here on the court here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. Free ball to San Diego. Benbow's there. Blossom back sets to Froling. Good up there for Northern Colorado. Harris with a good stroke, that's blocked. Free ball again to San Diego. Allen, Blossom, far side loops. Diving Boone gets it back up. Rhinus sets it to Harris and Blackwell with the roof. Layla Blackwell, Grace Froling put the roof on Harris and it's 11 to one San Diego. Maddie Allen, Ince, Cole, Harris, 11-2. Blossom sets the loose, 12-2, 10 point lead for San Diego. Katie Luke's, Luke's eighth kill of the night. Fourth most on the team tonight. Layla Blackwell leads the team with 16 kills and a 762 hit percentage tonight. Followed by Froling with nine, Edwards with nine, Luke's with eight, as I mentioned. 12 3 now. A miscommunication there from the return for San Diego. And Bryn Rhinus will serve now, the freshman at Rogers, Minnesota. Pass by Allen, Blossom, far side loops off the tip and drops in for a point, 13 to three. The lead's back to 10. Olivia Bennett will now check in for Grace Froling and serve for San Diego. Olivia Bennett, close serve, too far. 13 to four. Mackenzie Harris, Bennett, Blossom, back line, Edwards. Harris is there again. Cole sets it back to Harris, and too much for Edwards. 13 to five now in favor of San Diego. And Harris will serve again. 336 kills this year, 24 assists, 382 points. It's an outstanding year for Mackenzie Harris as San Diego answers the call. It's now 14 to five. And Katie Lukes will serve for the Toreros. Ince, Cole, near side, back to Ince, and between Katie Lukes' legs, 14 to six. A nice answer there for Northern Colorado. Good sequence here, setting the five. And there's Hoon with the serve. Blossom, Stoner, dug up. Near side, Ince, that gets tipped. Luke's is there to save it. Blossom, Edwards, down ball and past the diving Hoon. Saved by Northern Colorado. Benbow, 
Blossom, Edwards, crushing blow. A great shot for San Diego. They now lead it 15 to six. That's Edwards' 10th kill of the night. Alex Hoagland to come in and serve. Hoagland. Cole sets near side in. Diving save by Bennett. Tip back at the line. Blackwell's on it. Blossom back to Edwards. Edwards with the down ball. Played by Northern Colorado. Back line Harris. And that's out. Bennett wisely avoids contact with the ball on that one. And it's now 16 to 6. San Diego. Oakland. Ince, Hoagland's there. Blossom, back line, Lukes. Good up there for, San, for Northern Colorado's Timperley. That gets tipped, Bennett saves it. Blossom sets it to Blackwell with a soft tip. Fight for the ball near the net. Ince again, she gets blocked, saved by Boone. One more time for Ince. That also gets tipped, played by Lukes. Over to Edwards, off the block, saved by Timperley. Inst again, Bennett is on it, diving Bennett. Edwards gets the line, and that's a point for San Diego. What an exciting finish to a great sequence between Northern Colorado and San Diego. The Toreros have a 17-6 lead, and Northern Colorado's gonna call a timeout. San Diego getting the crowd alive here. NCAA tournament, tournament in women's college volleyball. Seventeen sixteen lead for San Diego coming out of the Northern Colorado timeout on a 3-0 scoring run here trying to win the fourth set in advance in the NCAA tournament. Hogan with a great up. Bennett, Edwards with the answer and that's in. Just in front of the diving. Boone, 18-6 lead for San Diego. Northern Colorado has used both of their timeouts in set four. San Diego on a 4-0 scoring run. One set one, 25-21. One set two, 25-14. Lost set three and have really answered back here in set four. Ball gets tipped. Diving Katie Lukes. Edwards tried to carry it over the net. Hangs on to it for a little bit too long. And it's 18-7 now. Stoner is in for Hoagland and then gets replaced by Annie Benbo as the libero. 18-17 lead for the Toreros. Cole with the serve. Blossom. Blackwell is a little bit behind her. Played it off well, and it's four touches for Northern Colorado. San Diego will take a 19-7 lead. 
19-7 lead for San Diego here in the fourth set. Winner of the match tonight will go on to play Washington State tomorrow at 7.30 Pacific time. Back line, Harris, Benpo on it. Blossom, rolling. Dug out by Boone. There's Inst again. Blossom, or Edwards with a crushing shot. That gets knocked back into play. And San Diego will get the point as that one goes out. 20 to seven lead. We are the last game in action tonight out here on the West Coast. Thanks again for watching on ESPN Plus as we continue the coverage of the NCAA tournament in women's college volleyball. Full packed action tomorrow on ESPN Plus. Katie Luke, soft touch. Played off nicely from Northern Colorado. That gets tipped. Ben Bow from the back line. Blossom over to Blackwell and into the net and back on the Torero side. Now 20 to 8. Scores throughout the country. Nebraska 3-0 over Delaware State. Kansas 3-0 over Miami. Baylor 3-0 over Stephen F. Austin. Soft touch rolling, and that's going to be in for a point for San Diego. It's now 21-8. Rice beat Colorado 3-1. Kentucky over Loyal Chicago 3-0. Western Kentucky over Bowling Green 3-0. Washington State we won here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion earlier today. Won 3-0 over UNLV. Georgia Tech won 3-0 over Wright State. Marquette over Ball State 3-0. Georgia 3-1 over Towson and Texas sweeps Farley Dickinson. It's 21-8 here in set four. San Diego leads it two sets to one. It's now 21-9. As San Diego's four points away from putting this one away and getting ready to play Washington State tomorrow. Down ball by Lukes in the middle and just out on the shot from Hoon. 21, 22 to nine. San Diego's three points away from advancing. Annie Benbo, West Coast Conference Libero Player of the Year. Or Libero of the Year, I should say. All time leading digs leader. Get up there by Annie. Over to Lukes. Lukes off the block, out of play, 23 name. Two points away. Twenty-three to nine. Here's Annie Benpo. Float serve. In the back. Cole near side. Harris keeping him alive. 23 to 10. Up to Bryn Reines to go on a run here, down 13. Allen, Blossom, soft touch donor. Northern Colorado settles. Harris off the block and in for a point, 23 to 11. Rhinus into the net, and it's match point. San Diego leads it 24 to 11. And it will be Grace Froling to try to put them into the second round. Over 3,000 in attendance on their feet here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. Froling gets passed in the back. Over by Harris, the diving Benbo Blossom to Lukes, and Lukes finishes it off. San Diego is advancing to the second round after winning three sets to one 
over Northern Colorado. 24-11 win, or 25-11 win here in set four. San Diego wins it three sets to one, and will take on Washington State tomorrow night at 7.30, right here on ESPN+. Plus. For all of us here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion and for ESPN, I'm Braden Sabrenet signing off. San Diego wins it tonight, three to one. We'll see you tomorrow night.